Hey guys, Bright at Zero here, bringing you a video on gear score again. This time I'm going to give you 10 tips on gear score in general. This is not necessarily about just raising it, but just anything that I found that was a good tip about gear score. Let's jump right in. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment below if you've got maybe some other tips you'd like to add. And subscribe to the channel for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. Tip number one is that gear from the store is based on your average, but from what I've seen, if you have one item that is lower than the other ones, at least by a big margin, it will restrict what you see. The example I've shown in the video that's playing right now is that I had a 140 handgun, while all my other gear was closer to 150, and that was restricting the amount of gear score that I could get from the store. But the moment I brought that handgun up to 149, it immediately brought all the things I could find in the store to 154. Even though my gear score number only changed from 150 to 151, it increased what I could buy in the store by about four points. Tip number two, you need to equip the gear in order to count. It is explicitly stated by one of the developers that gear score in your inventory does not count towards your average and towards your actual what you're finding unless it is equipped. Unlike other games like Destiny that comes to mind that has a passive counter, even if the uh, stuff is in your inventory, it does not count. Tip number three, stick to activities around your gear score. There's no real benefit in jumping in to gear score activities that are way higher. You're just gonna die, you're just gonna waste your time. Spend your time going around and killing the guys in the open world which will scale to your gear score and stick to activities that are around your gear score. Tip number four, up to 70, you should see drops that are about maybe up to 10 higher than what you currently are. After that, up to about 110, you'll see seven. Up to 150, you should see maybe around in the three to four range. They slowly stop your progression to make it where in the beginning, you're very quickly rewarded for higher gear score. And then it's immediately stopped off once you get higher and you kind of know what you need to do. In the beginning, concentrating on activities that reward certain things that you need is not as important, but in the end game, it's very important that you choose what activity you want to do based on the equipment that you need. When you hover over the icon in the map, you can find that. Tip number five, mission rewards do drop higher than other things, but not by much. You won't really find much of a difference for mission rewards and other gear that uh, makes too much of a difference. It, it's not really that important. Just play through the game in the open world and don't try to concentrate solely on what you're getting as a reward when you hover over the map. Aside from if you're looking to upgrade one specific piece, let's say boots, and this place has boots in a crate, then go ahead and concentrate on it. But don't worry too much about mission rewards and other thing like that, because they're not gonna be terribly higher only concentrate if you need to raise a specific slot. Tip number six, you can buy gear at Bivouacs in addition to buying them from the main base. I recommend stopping and doing it as soon as you can, as much as you can. Tip number seven, we've already kind of touched on it, but you can hover over the icons of specific places on the map to see exactly what is dropped from that location. This can assist you with upgrading a specific slot that might be lower, that you've already tried to go to the shop to buy it, but the shop doesn't give you an upgrade. Go ahead and stop by that activity and get that crate. Tip number eight, loot boxes that have more enemies are more likely to have higher gear. If you are going to a specific encampment and there's not a lot of people there, don't count on the gear being that great. Again, this is not necessarily a for sure thing, but the developer has said that if you are spending more time killing a lot more enemies to get to crates, there is a much higher chance that it will have higher gear for you. And at the same time, you may just get scale points. So who knows? Tip number nine, quality is linked to gear score. You won't really see any high end gear until you get much higher, maybe around 50 into the game. Once you hit maybe around the 80 range, you should predominantly be seeing high-end stuff. 
and you should see your first epic around 110. So as you get higher and higher, you will start to see more. I'm around 150, 160 right now, and most of the gear I get is high end with a couple epics sprinkled in every few uh, missions or whatever that I'm doing. And tip number 10, dismantle weapons and sell armor. From what I've currently seen, there's no real benefit to dismantling armor. Go ahead and use that to your benefit and sell the armor. But you do get a good benefit of dismantling your weapons because you can turn around and use what you get from dismantling them to upgrade your weapons. And they are a pretty good um, change that brings to the weapons. You can notice a considerable difference from an upgraded to a fully upgraded weapon, Mark III. And that's it, 10 tips on gear score related things. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up, comment below if you got any questions or maybe you got some other tips for people and subscribe to the channel for more Ghost Recon Breakpoint content. Thanks.